Meet Liz. Liz is an instructional designer tasked with developing a new assessment for the customer service team. The assessment results will be used to evaluate the team's ability to sell and service in Fractor and reveal whether they are qualified to represent the product to customers. Liz knows that to create a quality assessment, she needs to consider both her colleagues and her organization. To be fair to colleagues, the assessment needs to measure the knowledge and skills required to perform the essential tasks of the job. It should require her colleagues to exercise their knowledge and skill under authentic circumstances. This way, when a colleague earns a passing score, Liz and her stakeholders can be confident that that person is truly competent and prepared to do the job. Decisions made by the organization based on assessment scores will benefit the organization by ensuring that employees can perform the job well and comply with regulations. Liz knows that regulations govern the sale of Infractor. Her management wants to evaluate the customer service team's ability to represent the features and provide useful and accurate information to customers. The team has already received extensive training on the product's features and unique selling points. But possessing product knowledge is only part of the equation for Infractor to be successful. The question is, can customer service articulate the benefits and value of Infractor to customers, and can they do it effectively and properly? The management team wants customer service to maintain a high level of customer satisfaction, but is also concerned about the regulatory risks involved with the new product. Liz needs to discover the tasks that are performed by the team when representing similar products. She also needs to discover how the regulations dictate the way certain tasks of the job are to be performed. First, Liz interviews her stakeholders and a subject matter expert to obtain their views on what a competent customer service agent must know and be able to do. Second, she administers a Job Tasks Analysis or JTA survey to the customer service team. The JTA asks customer service agents to identify the difficulty, importance, and frequency of the job's tasks. The results from the analysis inform Liz that the test will need to assess the ability of the team to answer questions related to pricing, delivery, and warranty of the product, as well as product features, and to do so in compliance with regulations. Liz knows that the team has already been trained and tested on Infractor features. Her coworker Jim designed that training. Since he developed an assessment to test product knowledge, Liz's assessment will be focused on the application of that knowledge in the context of regulations and interacting with customers. Using question mark, Liz can now construct the topics and subtopics that will be used to organize the questions and maintain the details of the knowledge and skills required. Liz creates a root topic for Infractor with four subtopics, regulations, pricing, delivery, and warranties. Liz knows that she doesn't know the questions to ask and needs help from her subject matter experts. Liz meets with Patty, the customer service manager, and Bart, the product manager, as they are the subject matter experts for Infractor. Liz explains that they will need to write questions that align with the four topics, regulations, pricing, delivery, and warranties. She explains that this topic structure will enable the assessment to provide customer service agents and management with diagnostic feedback on where the team's strengths and weaknesses lie. Using question mark, Liz shares the topics that she's created for Infractor with Patty and Bart, and they receive an invitation to use question mark by email. Liz also introduces Patty and Bart to the video that question mark provides that explains the best practices for writing assessment items. Liz works with Patty and Bart to write questions that align with each of the topic areas. They carefully select question types that are best suited for the scenario. For example, they include questions with graphics and audio clips to present real-world scenarios that will help measure whether customer service agents can perform under circumstances they will encounter on the job. Liz reviews the questions from an instructional design standpoint to check for such things as cues to the correct choice negatively worded questions, and other common mistakes generally made by subject matter experts. Liz also reviews the question descriptions to ensure they are meaningful. Descriptions allow the questions to be identified in reports while protecting the actual question wording. 
Liz knows that this review will help reduce work downstream, and the descriptions will help later when she has to identify the question in a list or report or match it to an associated objective. With the questions all built, Liz is ready to create an assessment. She has many choices, such as selecting all questions from a topic, randomly from a topic, specific questions, or any combination. Liz creates the assessment folder and names the assessment Customer Service for Infractor. She chooses to use five questions at random from each of the topics in the item bank. Liz wants to check in with Patty and Bart to ensure that the test is on target. So she prints an answer key to assist them in reviewing the assessment more efficiently. Liz, Patty, and Bart also come up with the initial criteria for qualification and a plan for remediation. After consulting with experts, they use the ANGOFF method to set the passing score of 86% for regulations and 76% for other topics. Once reviewed, Liz is prepared to conduct a beta test on the assessment. She has identified several individuals to take the customer service for infractor assessment. Liz schedules the assessments for some of the subject matter experts within the customer service team and emails them to let them know that this is a beta test and is part of the validation process. Once the beta test is complete, Liz runs various reports to confirm that the assessment is scoring properly, that the topics are configured properly and providing diagnostic feedback, and to review the comments that beta testers provided as they responded to the assessment. Liz makes several adjustments to the questions based on feedback from the beta test group. She uses the descriptions to easily locate the questions that need edits. With a new assessment created and tested, Liz is ready to move the assessment from development to production to be used to assess the knowledge and skills of the customer service team. Liz knows that she'll have to deliver the assessment securely, but for the moment, the authoring process is complete.